Chapter 3, Give and Take. Now let's try and add bigger numbers, shall we? Bigger numbers, don't be afraid, they're pretty easy. Okay, there's 146 plus 271. Let's use our tokens here to make it easier. We have the hundreds token, the tens token, and the ones token. And let's write 146 under this. So that's one hundreds, four tens, and six ones. Now let's write 271. So that's two hundreds, seven tens, and one ones. Let's count the ones first. So we have six plus one equals seven. Let's move on to the tens. We have 7 plus 4 equals 11. This means we have 11 tens. Now, 11 tens can be written as 10 tens plus 1 ten. So we know that 10 tens equals 100. So we write this 1 ten in the tens place and move this one set of 10 tens to the hundreds place. So let's carry over and write a 1 here in the hundreds place. So in the hundreds place, we now have 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4. So the answer is 417. That was pretty easy, huh? Okay, let's do one more problem with big numbers. We've got 364 plus 298. So let's count the ones first. We have 8 plus 4 equals 12. So we have 12 ones. 12 equals 10 plus 2. So this 1 10 is carried over to the tens place, and we write down the number 2 here in the ones place. Then in the tens place, we've got an extra 1. So that's 1 plus 6 plus 9 equals, using our easy addition method, 9 plus 1 equals 10, 10 plus 6 equals 16. So we've got 16 tens, which is 10 tens plus 6 tens. So we write 6 tens here, and these 10 tens, which equal to 100, are carried over to the hundreds group. So in the hundreds group, we've now carried over 1. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 2 equals 6. So the answer is 662. Pretty simple, huh? Great. Let's try solving these problems mentally, shall we? So over here we have 120 plus 65 equals... So 5 plus 0 equals 5. 2 plus 6 equals 8. And 1 so the answer is 185. Let's try another one. There's 374 plus 117 equals... So there's 4 plus 7 equals 11. Now because we have 11, we carry over 1. Now there's 7 plus 1 plus 1 equals 9. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So the answer here is 491. Let's try different combinations in addition. 127. So 127 equals, it can be written as 120 plus 7, 100 plus 27, 87 plus 40, 50 plus 77, 20, plus 57, plus 50, and so on and so on. Isn't it fun making so many different kind of combinations? Okay, now let's try to add and subtract a set of numbers in different ways. So we have 30, 50, and 80. Let's try different combinations in addition. We can have 30 plus 50 equals 80. Or 50 plus 30 equals 80. Now, let's try in subtraction. We can have 80 minus 50 equals 30. Or 80 minus 30 equals 50. 
is just a shift in the position of numbers, and you can get a variety of combinations. Why don't you try taking some more of these numbers and try out different kind of combinations in addition and subtraction? Well, hope you have fun doing that, and see you next time. Bye bye.